What's up guys? Let me tell you what we're up to today. Today I'm meeting up with some friends and we're going on a group ride. For November, it's a nice, warm, almost sunshiny day. There was rain a little earlier today and I keep seeing a few rain clouds here and there, but uh, I think it's I think it's gonna be a great day. And so I just got a call from my buddy and he's like, hey, we're going on a ride, you wanna join us? So I was like, hell yeah, I wanna join. You guys see this dude? He's like always out here. He's been out here for the last few years. That's his job, he, he's just pop. But it only seems so intimidating because he's like way too over the top with it. That That's what 110% looks like. So if you're a sign person and you're around this area, this guy's gonna run up on all of your business. Look at him shake his titties. He looks like a 90s kind of dude. He also looks like he's having a seizure, so I don't know. All right, we're heading to my buddy's house now, but I don't want to bore you guys with the travel, so let's fast forward. All right, and we're here with the group. We got Mirko, Britt, and Tom, and we're gonna go do a ride around Lake Lowell. We have communication between Mirko and Britt, but not Tom. Tom has yet to obtain a Senna, so he's left behind. And then Rev Bomb, as soon as we're as close as we can be. Left or right? Cause <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. Left, left, left. Let's go left. Surprisingly, the lake looks clean. If we get enough speed, we can probably hop over. I like that attitude. Can do attitude. A ride like this, guys, is a prime example of why it's nice to have more than one motorcycle. For example, if all I had was my pool sport, then I could not go on a ride like this with guys who have fast bikes. Okay, so if, if I came on my 250, I would have a hell of a time trying to keep up with these guys. That would not be an easy ride to do on a 250L. Man, there's some beautiful houses out here. Like, look at that thing. It's a gorgeous home. Right now, we're also trying to find another way to get closer to the lake so we can take some nice pictures. And if not, we're just gonna go to a coffee shop and hang out there instead. Because when you have Ducatis, you hang out at coffee shops. Everybody knows that. What do you guys think of videos like this? Do you like me going on group rides? Would you like to see more group ride videos? Or do you like the one-on-one -on -one or just dual vlog kind of stuff that we do? It's nice to be out on blue again as well. It's been it's been a little while since I've ridden this bike because I've been having so much fun on that dual sport that I have not touched this bike in a little while. Oh no! I like your flaccid mirror. <laughs> what the hell is that? I can't tell if this is an apartment building or like a news station. I think it's an apartment building, but man does that look super ghetto. I mean, they have a giant antenna on the top. It's like they're giving everyone cancer. Makes me think of something like from Fallout. Nampa Christian. Oh, they're giving all the Christians cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I 
You guys are aware there's a stereotype about Ducati owners, right? Which one? Ducati owners park their bikes and drink coffee all day. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get an introduction to what it's like to be a Ducati owner. <laughs> we just got some coffee at the Flying M. Flying M coffee garage. I'm just talking to myself. And now we're gonna head out and do a quick little photo shoot. It's like you got hydraulics on it. Just bounce. We're gonna pull over right out, do a little photo shoot, and then head home. Yeah, you guys want to take the bikes over to the? Oh yeah. Come underneath the. Yeah, the plane. Yeah, except for Mirko. Mirko doesn't he, want to do it. Why not? Everything you've done today, this is where you draw the line. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh well, don't oh, blame. Oh, He's gonna blame us if he drops it in the grass. Okay, I'm gonna take the photo now. All right, we got the photos done, guys. And waiting for them now. We can't do that! We can't, we can't make a left-hand turn. Oh well. This exhaust does not look good. I gotta warn him about this, this is no good. I just thought I'd try this as a last resort. I've been trying to get Tom's attention. His exhaust looks like it's about to fall off. Like that. Senna saved the day. Thank you, Senna. Managed to get their attention. We pulled over, fixed his exhaust. Now we're on our way. Just want to say thanks again for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will do my best to provide you with more content. And if you have any thoughts, suggestions, ideas, or questions, leave those in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching guys. You will have a good day. See ya! Bye.